So I think that Gupta Leaks played a large role um, in, in him eventually standing down. Um, I don't think it was entirely up to the Gupta Leaks. I think what it did is, you know, there was a there, there was an acknowledgement that corruption was out of hand under under Zuma's government. But I think people didn't know quite how bad it was. And once people started to understand, you know, here is this minister who's being instructed on what laws to pass. Here is this minister who's being instructed on who to award contracts to. You know, here is um, here is kind of a private family uh, effectively instructing the ruling party on who to appoint as ministers. I think people started to kind of realize just how bad it was. They started to see that it wasn't just a sort of media conspiracy. It wasn't people blowing things out of proportion. I think one of the really positive things is that uh, it's it's kind of confirmed for a lot of people how valuable the media is. Um, you know, the media in South Africa, like anywhere else, sort of struggles with the same things of declining readership and the, you know, the sort of the economic foundations, um, the economic rug being pulled out from under them. But I think in the past year, people have really realized what a, a massive role the media played in being able to bring all of this to light. So I think it's been a really positive thing for the media. Um, it's kind of made people realize the value of investing in media, um, in making sure that there are organizations that can, that can do the really hard slug of digging, digging through um, quite complex information. Um, look, the country's in a very different place now than it was, you know, even six months ago. There's, Unfortunately, there's kind of a perception out there that because the president has stepped down, it's like mission accomplished, right? We can go home. And it's by no means, you know, job done. It's kind of the, you know, unfortunately, a lot of the, the people that he put into power are still there. A lot of the people that are kind of serving selfish means are, are still in positions of power. Um, and you know it's it's not it's not sort of enough to leave it up to the ANC to to kind of sort out the the problem. A lot of the companies that were implicated in corruption, you know, they have they've kind of done a small public mea culpa and uh, and they've kind of carried on with business as usual. So for us, there's you know because this was never about one person, it was never about President Zuma. Um, it took an entire network of people to capture the state. And many of those people are still there. Um, they're not necessarily going to be you know, acting for the, you know, the same interests, but they're certainly going to be there to act for someone's interests. So yeah, I mean, for us, there's, you know, although there has been quite a big reaction to the leaks, there's still so much coming out. Um, some of the best information that we've got, we've got in the last month. Um, there are still people who are coming forward and saying, actually, I've got this thing which I've been sitting on for years and years and years.